Hey guys, welcome back once again to my channel Ride with ZXNR. So today it is going to be a safety awareness video. So today I am going to demonstrate something with my ZXNR. So all of us like to ride our vehicles very fast, whether it is a motorcycle or a car. We used to ride it pretty fast and the speed at which we travel depends upon the vehicle which we drive. So with a normal motorcycle, maybe 150 km per hour is pretty fast and with a motorcycle like this, there is no limit for the speed. Even you can ride it at 250 or 300 km per hour. So, riding fast will make you reach places uh, pretty fast and will be useful while covering uh, a long distance. But there are some uh, ill effects associated with uh, riding your motorcycle pretty fast. So, today I am going to explain two aspects of riding fast. That is what happens when you ride your motorcycle very fast. Those two phenomena are called tunnel vision and speed blindness or you can call it uh, motion blindness. So let's get into a ride and see what those things are. So speaking about the problems of uh, speeding with your vehicle, uh, I spoke about uh, tunnel vision and uh, motion blindness earlier. So tunnel vision, uh, maybe most of the people might be knowing. That is, uh, whenever you ride uh, very fast, uh, tunnel vision means uh, the reduction in your uh, peripheral vision. So right now I am riding at around uh, 70 km per hour in my motorcycle. So at this speed I am uh, able to see at the sides of the road very clearly whatever uh, in the sides of the road I could uh, see I have the time to look at those things and uh, I could see if any people or vehicle or any stray cattle is about to cross the road so for example if I am riding at uh, around 160 km per hour right now my peripheral vision will be affected I could not see a lot of things which are on the side of the road that poses a inherent risk uh, to the rider so at the very high speeds uh, you will be munching miles very quickly so for example uh, the electric post uh, which i am seeing there which takes me around uh, four or five seconds to cross now may take just uh, one or two seconds at uh, very high speeds so at those speeds your uh, brain cannot uh, process what are uh, present on the sides of the road and uh, your peripheral vision, uh, the exact term to mention that is uh, peripheral vision. Your peripheral vision will get affected and it will uh, lead to tunnel vision. You will be able to look at only what is on the road and uh, ri you can uh, ride. Whatever uh, obstructions or uh, dangers present on the sides of the road, you may not be able to look out for while riding at uh, very high speeds. The next thing which I mentioned is speed blindness or uh, motion blindness, you can uh, call it. So most of you might have experienced this. Whenever you are on a long trip, uh, you are starting from your home and uh, most of us will be riding at a very normal speed at the beginning of the trip. For example, say you are uh, going to ride for uh, around 800 kilometers in a single day. So while starting, we will be riding at a pretty normal speed and as the ride goes on you might have experienced it the speed of your vehicle will be increasing as the distance goes on because what happens is once you have ridden some 100 or 110 kilometers and once you start to increase your speed step by step for example say for the first 30 kilometers you are riding at around 80 and then the next 30 you are riding at 100 and again uh, after some 120 kilometers you are riding at uh, around 120 what your brain will feel is your brain will uh, make you believe that the speed at which you are riding right now is uh, pretty normal for example after riding uh, 300 kilometers you are uh, averaging a speed of around 150 to 160 and your brain will make you believe that you are riding at a pretty normal speed 150 or 160 may seem very normal to you but uh, it is not for uh, the other people on the road. So what happens is, 
you will go on increasing your speed thinking that you are riding at a normal speed and uh, it will be very difficult if at all anything crosses your path or if you want to slow down it will be not as easy as it seems so this is called uh, speed blinders that is uh, your brain is blind to the speed at which you are traveling the more and more you travel at very high speeds you you will be starting to believe that uh, the speed at which you are traveling is uh, pretty normal and the risk of uh, speed blindness is uh, pretty common in uh, cars wherein you sit inside a closed window with your air condition on you won't be hearing any sounds from the outside world there uh, the chances of uh, having this uh, speed blindness is pretty high in motorcycles i have to say it is uh, not as high as on a car but still you will get this even on your uh, motorcycles so the best way to prevent speed blindness is you have to look at your uh, speedometer then and there if you are riding uh, on a long ride it is better to have a look at your uh, speedometer uh, at least for uh, every 2 minutes so that uh, your brain will be aware of the speed at which you are uh, riding so i hope uh, what i have told now uh, will be useful for uh, most of the riders so that's it for today guys thanks for watching see you all once again in another video